for all of the horror stories around a vegan diet, we never really address the unreal amount of global warming these vegans are causing with their lawnmower buttholes. I have talked in the past about how some vegan girls I have gone out with here and there have smelled pretty bad. But the farting is something else. Fortunately for vegans, we have Dr. Clapper with his words of wisdom on how to prevent this from happening to you on a plant-based diet. Uh, first of all, uh, let's realize that gas is a normal, natural situation. If I may be so blunt in front of your audience, everybody <laughs> farts. I mean, all animals do it, all mammals do it. Uh, every About 20 to 25 times a day, we all pass gas. <laughs> and it happens a lot when we're sleeping, when we're horizontal. So it's not a state of disease. And right. so people should just understand that as part of having a tubular digestive system where chemistry is happening. <laughs> but very importantly, um, well, where does this, where does this, the gas that has passed come from? Mm -hmm. Well, a significant amount of it, 40, 60, 80 percent, um, is swallowed air. What is that? Hmm. Well, there's, there's air in the food. On, on a fork full of rice, there's air between the grains of rice. Yeah. Uh, in a floret of broccoli, there's air down the floret of broccoli. In a fork full of salad, there's air between the leaves of lettuce. Hmm. And um, the, when we put the food in our mouth and we chew it up and swallow it. If there's a lot of air in the food, we're going to swallow that air. Right. And once that air is in our stomach, it's going to go one of two places. It's going to go up or it's going to go down. <laughs> yeah. you, you either release it discreetly from above, <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm a big fan of quiet belches after dinner. Um, <laughs> but if you don't release it from above, it's going to go through your intestinal tract and, uh, and cause uh, flatulence. So how do we avoid swallowing so much air? We've often taught how important it is uh, to chew our food really well, break down those cell walls so mm. we can absorb the nutrients in these plant foods. But one advantage of chewing your food well is that it forces the air out of the food. Mm. And so by chewing that food to a cream, uh, you're going to swallow a lot less air. But that's really the opposite way most people eat. We're in a big hurry. We got that meeting. We got to get right. playing. You know, two chews, bump down it goes, yep. and uh, and all the air goes down there. And uh, we wind up passing a lot of gas and blaming the beans, but it wasn't the beans, it was the air swallowing from eating too fast. So I tell people, uh, you know, if you're going to eat some salad, put a fork full of salad in your mouth, put the bloody fork down, make salad puree in your mouth, take the extra five or ten seconds to mm -hmm. chew that food to a cream, uh, and, uh, and you're going to swallow a lot less air as well as get more nutrition out of the food. So eating too fast and not chewing well enough is one major factor. Chew your food. Your, right. mother, your mother was right. Chew your food, but listen to her finally. But seriously, it's a major factor in the gas issue. So Dr. Clapper's theory of the air in food causing you to fart is so ridiculous, I am not going to address it. What I find hysterical is that the other guy is sitting there nodding and agreeing with him. Then he goes home, uploads this video like it's good information. Does this kid have his head screwed on straight? How can he look at this old quack with a straight face and agree with what he is saying? Let's explore further into vegan fart escapades. Here we have someone who recently turned vegan. For instance, I took a crap in a center world the other day and the guy who went in after me turned around and left, waving his arms as if he was a beleaguered veteran telling the last rescue helicopter into Saigon. And the responses are comical. I have the worst gas ever. I fart like 150 times a day. I also poop more often, like three times a day. But they're perfect poops. I'm with you and my farts don't smell at all. Then we have Mr. Delusional, who claims that farting on a vegan diet is temporary saying if you continue to follow the vegan diet, your gut will adjust and the farting will go away. But here we have an almost 10 year vegan who still farts a lot and another who attributes their farts to <gasps> detox. Oh look, another comedian. I fart a lot, but I don't get gas pains and they don't smell. <laughs> they don't smell. Uh, then we have Tiffany. I have been a vegan for about a year now, and while my farts have always been bad, 
they have gotten worse. Personally, mine have not gotten better, but maybe just me. Don't think you're alone on that one, Tiff. I still fart a lot after six years vegan. I think he is still detoxing. Maybe he just needs his gut to adjust a few more years. I don't fart much, but my dumps are massive. Like crazy massive. Yep, every time I go, it's a freaking loaf. Yeah, man, as a dainty as fuck, 23 year old female, I put my meat eating boyfriend to shame with my farts. I also love to rub in the fact that I poop at least three times a day. I am a master of this stench. You aren't so dainty, young lady. Yeah, I was the exact same for the first few weeks and then the fart stopped. You're just adjusting. It will pay us. The only thing passing is the demonic stench coming out of vegan rear ends. Here is another story. I've been vegan since November, but this month I have been very gassy. I didn't realize how bad the smell was, so I usually just let it out silently. I'm starting to realize how bad the smell is. I was taking the public bus home from school today and I let a, a very small toot out of its prison. I thought it wouldn't be a problem as most of the windows were all open and it was a big bus. I was very wrong. A girl, all the way on the other side of the bus, starts to put her shirt over her nose. Then she searches in her bag and takes out a bottle of essential oil and starts shaking it everywhere as if she was baptizing the whole bus. Then she frantically tried and struggled to open her window while holding the bottle of oil very close to her nose. After she finally opened the window, she began to give me the Sicilian stare that lasted the rest of the bus ride. But we have the solution, boys and girls. Embrace it. What's also funny is if you Google why a vegan diet causes farts, we see the same nonsense explanation that your stomach is adjusting to a new bacteria, a higher fiber intake. But if you Google specific foods like beans or broccoli, it gives you a specific compound in the food that makes you fart, whether it's a type of sugar or fiber that the body cannot utilize. Vegans tend to make things up and are getting away with it. I mean, pretty much everything about a vegan diet is made up and everyone believes them, but what are you gonna do? So when you go on a vegan diet, you fart up a storm and shit many times per day. The opposite of a carnivore diet when people go carnivore, their bowel movement frequency regulates to an average of one small to medium sized movement per day. And they are not just a little bit smaller, you know, compared uh, to the food volume that vegans are eating, you know, probably, you know, four, five, six pounds of food on a vegan diet compared to a pound or two of food on a carnivore diet, the input versus the output is drastic. It shows how efficiently we are digesting animal foods as opposed to plant foods. And not only are these vegans stuffing their faces with plant foods, it's not nourishing their bodies. They're still hungry and they're shitting their pants doing so. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and please above all else guys, share the video, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, telling your a buddy at school that you know you saw the video telling your parents you really enjoyed the video made you laugh whatever it is really helps me out guys uh, definitely be careful about you know not chewing your food properly I mean if you you swallow too much air you might you know have as much gas as a vegan uh, if you guys would like to support me further check out Frank Eats Free Range Meat high quality nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com if you want to feel like a Roman statue. And if you want to look like a Roman statue, go to frankiesnaturals.com to get minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Oh!